In this tutorial, I will explain what radio propagation and free space laws are. Propagation is the way how radio waves travel through free space, also known as medium. The way how these waves travel may impact its signal strength. Here are some examples. Line of sight propagation. The radio waves travel directly from sender to receiver without any obstacles. From end node to gateway, there are no obstacles. If the distance between sender and receiver gets larger, the signal gets weaker. This loss is known as free space loss. But even if there is a direct line of sight, you must always consider the Fresnel zone. I will explain what the Fresnel zone is in detail in the next video. But for now, this is the Fresnel zone. This is the ground. And in this particular example, the ground is an obstacle within the Fresnel zone. If this is the case, the radio waves reflecting off those objects, in this case the ground, may arrive out of phase with the signals that travel directly and reduce the power of the received signal. So this is the direct signal, this is the reflected signal, and these two signals are out of phase. Because of this, the signal strength is reduced. There is also propagation through obstacles. Radio waves may penetrate through obstacles that appear in its path. Radio waves lose its strength if it travels through obstacles made of more conductive materials. If you look at this picture, we have three end nodes. In this case, signals go through buildings. In this case, signals go through trees. And in this case, there is a mountain between the end node and the gateway. Buildings are made of more conductive materials, which weakens the signal compared to trees. A mountain blocks the signal completely. There is also propagation through reflection. Radio waves can be reflected by buildings which interfere with its direct signal. Here's an end node and this is a direct signal to the gateway. If there's a building, the signal can be reflected. The reflected signal can interfere with the direct signal. You also have propagation through diffraction. Diffraction is where radio waves are bent around sharp edges. A signal from a transmitter may be received by the gateway, even though it may be shaded by a large obstacle. In this example, the gateway receives a diffracted signal, but not the direct signal. There are more types of propagations which impact the signal strength, but the ones explained in this video, meaning line of sight propagation, propagation through obstacles, propagation through reflection, and propagation through diffraction are the important ones. I have already explained what free space loss is, but you can calculate the free space loss using this equation. The free space loss is expressed in decibels and it depends on its distance between end node and gateway and the frequency. And here are some calculations using the 868 MHz frequency. This is 10 meters, 50 meters, 100 meters, 500 meters, and 1 kilometer. And you can see the corresponding free space loss. In a later video, you will see that the free space loss is the biggest loss in a radio communication system. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe. If you have questions, leave your comments below. I'll do my best to answer them.